Hello everybody, it's Michelle K. Hill with Pet Portrait Fun, and today we're going to be doing a little painting of Harley the long-haired chihuahua on a surfboard. So you see I photoshopped the, um, the little doggy on top of uh, the surfboard here, because Harley is a Florida little chihuahua, and um, the owner asked me to uh, have some kind of a fun theme, like him in a watery, so we decided to put him on the surfboard. So I'm mixing a little bit of yellow. I'm going to go into Harley's fur first. He's pretty light tan, and uh, which is, I'm just mixing a little bit of yellow, a little bit of orange, a lot of water. Water is your white, like I always say. So, and um, I have my paper towel here, just in case. That's what you always have if it gets out too dark. See, that's a little dark, but that's okay. I'm just going to add more water to it, to my brush. You don't want it to be too drippy, but... What I'm going to do is go back on top. I'm just going to like almost stain. I'm just going to take that same orange. See, I'm just dragging it all around with a lot. Just keep adding water. So that kind of lightens it up. Because it's pretty light right up in here. So I want to make sure that that's pretty white. And then uh, just pull that. Just kind of staining all of Harley. The little toes. All the fur. Fill in the whole ears. We'll go back on top and do uh, the shadows, but I always do like an underlayer, like a tint underlayer first. So there's like this orangey around the eyes. I left those eyes. Um, we'll, we'll do those nice brown later and uh, just fill that all in. Then same with the nose. And we'll do all these. Just kind of fill that all in. Just adding more water to, um, to my brush. Just got to take that orange tan tint that I did just drag it all around a little orangey doggy so yeah hope everybody's doing okay in their quarantine um, it's good to get outside and do a little bit of a uh, uh, I walked to Central Park this morning so it was nice I mean, it's a dreary kind of day but it's good to get outside and get some fresh air the flowers are Coming out, the cherry blossoms are coming, and the birds, the birds are all mating. The blue jays and the cardinals and the robins makes me smile. Go in the park. Okay, so I'm finishing up just this like underlayer tint that I did here, and I'm gonna go back in. So let that dry a little bit. Um, I'm gonna do the sky. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do either one. So there's two kinds of blues in here. There's like a navy, um, that's, and then there's kind of this cerulean with a little bit of green. There's like kind of a teal. Mix. I'm gonna mix some green in there. Might, might as well mix some green for that that aqua e water. So just kind of fill that water in. Yeah. Drag that. So I just keep wetting my brush um, to to make the that drag the paint across, make it extend it a little bit further or along the edges here. And see that drips down, that's okay. Just kind of catch it with your brush. I, uh, I'm doing it upright. I always say do your watercolor on a flat surface. That way um, you don't have to fight with gravity the way I'm doing it. But that's okay, right? I just, just fill in all that. Like again, I said, I just mix, mix some green, some of the cerulean some of this teal, make some of this color, the blue ocean. It goes up to a, a like a, a more of a navy up here. Go right up against the little doggy. Water's fun because you can just kind of play with all the different colors. There's a whole bunch of different boats. See how it's like, it's like a, a, a teal down here, and I'm just dragging it. It's good to go into it while it's still wet because it blends in with each other. So I grab that so it doesn't drip onto the surfboard. I'm going to do that dark up in there. Take those. Take some of this steel. See how it's dripping right there? I'm going to like drag it so it goes over there. Make that Navy go across the other side of little doggy. I'm gonna show you how to do some some clouds too. 
There's no clouds in that sky, but I think it'll be fun. I'm going to just take my paper towel and just sop that up a little bit because I don't want it to drip on top of the uh, surfboard. And then you can just kind of play. So notice I keep wiping my brush on, on my uh, paper towel just to kind of make sure that I have some more control over it. Okay. So now I'm going to go... So that's pretty good. You can kind of like just add a little bit of some of the waves in there. <clears throat> we'll go back on top of it a little bit. Let's go here. This part's pretty wet. Now I'm going to do the sky. So the sky I'm just going to do, I'm making my brush pretty wet, and I'm just going to take just the cerulean, that light blue with a lot of water. And I'm just going to go across up there. Let me try this one. Mix in this other blue in here, this layer of blue. <clears throat> and just go up along. See, I'm, I'm just wetting my brush, make sure. So when I go up along the doggy, see this part's kind of dry now, the, the tan that I did before. Just kind of go up against the edge a little bit. A little bit like that. And then just fill in the rest of it. So you just kind of like take your brush, go right up to the edge, and go into that fur. Then now I'm just gonna get a really soppy wet, and then dry that while it's still wet. This is how you. It's good to uh, go up to the edge of something. Just kind of do the edge with that color, and then just drag it out. Okay. See, with, with Sky, you want it to go like horizontal. So notice my brush strokes, I'm going horizontal because you want to see if there, if you leave any brush strokes, any marks behind. I'm going to do the same thing on this side here. Go up along the edge. Yeah, see how it dripped into the water, but that's okay because it's, let's take a little bit. I don't want, I don't want to get soppy. See, the paper towel, that's your buddy. You always have that paper towel. It, I have it, it's a little moist, my paper towels, just so it, Kind of works with a little bit. So let's finish up this sky up here. Go up against this little chihuahua. Up against his edge. Pull him in here. I'm going to show you how to do a cloud in the sky. This is like, so you tint the whole paper first, right? While it's still wet, and take your paper towel and you do like a little bit of. Just kind of there's like a nice little cloud. So I'm just poking it, just not too hard. You make it some clouds. Do a little trick to make some clouds. So I'll go back on top of that water. See that dripped? <clears throat> I'm drying my brush out a little bit. I'm just gonna drag that a little bit so it doesn't make those marks. We'll go back on top of that later and uh, do that darker color, but I just want to make sure that those drips don't stain. You don't want those. You want the water to look. So notice I'm going horizontal with my brush strokes and just do it on both sides so it doesn't look like only one side's getting all the attention. Okay, now I'm going to go back into the little doggy and do around the face. So the, the marks that you made before that you traced from the drawing, you're just going to kind of take that tan that you did before and I'm adding a little bit more brown and make sure it's not too gooey. You want to have control over your brush. So I'm just going to go over into the eyes. I'm going to do that brown. You see, it's kind of gooey at this point because you want to have it like kind of control. I'm going to fill the whole brown in for the iris, let it dry, and then go back on top and do the pupil. But I'm leaving a teeny piece of white as a shine. I just leave that the white as the paper. So leave that like that. And I'm going to do it on this side too. And section of there little doggy and um got these it's okay if it, if it looks like a little too red like it might be, look weird just add a little bit of black to your brown if it's coming out too reddish brown I'm gonna start doing the shadows I don't let those eyes dry I'm gonna go back on top of it with some black black and brown mixed together but first I'm gonna do some of this shadowing under his little chin 
over here. You can just follow the, the, the lines that you've done before. And if that's really light, I mean, that red, uh, reddish brown is, you know, you could just tap it. Make sure your paper towel is not blue, though. You don't want blue from your, uh, yeah, there's a little blue on my paper towel from doing the clouds. So I would get like a new fresh paper towel and you just kind of drag that around. So you just take that and now I'm just going to kind of work his fur a little bit. There you go. Go around his little muzzle in the side. I'm going to go into the ears. I'm going to add some of that black I was talking about to the to the brown so it doesn't look so ready. I'm just going to go, go over these these marks in the ear. And just kind of follow those. kind of all those fur marks you want to fully you want to keep some of it light so I'm going underneath this eye because it's uh, it's got some shadow that's that I mixed a little bit of brown with the black my brush is not too wet you want to have a little bit of control over it at this point right under the chin and he's got this little mixing that he's going to do the little lip and the nose Lip in the nose. So first, I'm just doing it. It's not super black. It's like a brownish black, and um, I'm just gonna let that dry. And then I'm gonna go back on top of it and do the little nostrils. But you got this little little thing here. His little lip that goes around. He's got a little smile that comes curls up the side. Okay. So now, see the eyes are still a little wet, so I don't want to go into them just yet. So I'm gonna go into some of the shadowing in. Do some of that fur. See, my brush is pretty dry. I'm doing some of that fur, that shadowing in the fur behind. I'm just following the, the, the marks that I had done before. So I want to, I want to get back into this eye because I'm looking very red. Now, my black is kind of gooey. I just, I'm just making sure that my brush is... It's not drippy. You really want it to be almost like um, like acrylic almost at this point. And I'm just going to go back on top of it. There. And I just fill in, leaving a little bit of that brown for the iris. Fill in the pupil. Fill in that everything except that little piece of white. And then I'm going to do that, they call it doggy mascara, like over the eye. And the same thing over here. Fill that pupil. Leave a little bit of that brown for the iris. Fill in that, keep a little piece of that white, and then my doggy mascara. Mm -hmm. There you go. And then do the same thing. I'm gonna do that that black. It's gonna be in the in the nostrils. So it's two. It's like two curls. One going this way, one going that way, and a line down the middle. That's for the nostrils. It's like pretty much for every dog's nose. And a line down the middle. Now. Yeah. So now I want to do a little bit more shadowing around the sides. His, um, that's not like too dark. I have black on my brush, so you want to kind of lighten that up a little bit. I'm wiping it off on my paper towel. There we go. Do it around his little face. I wanted to go under his eye because the eyes are pretty prominent with that same black. I'm just kind of outlining under his eye like that. There we go. This is a cute little doggy. Little Harley on his surfboard. So yeah, I mean, I usually just take the picture that you guys sent me, but sometimes people ask me if to put a little background or something in. Yeah, as long as it's not super complicated, because I want to make it like simple enough that you guys can, can paint along with it do your pet portrait. <clears throat> yeah, I'm doing a little shadowing on the side. I'm going to add some more of my yellow. I'm going to get into that surfboard. I'm just going to do a little shadow under his little feet. I'm just following where I drew before. A little shadow underneath there. There's your paws. I can kind of dirty that up because it looks a little red. A little shadow of your doggy's face. 
it's got a few strokes over here. And the little eyebrows, I like the little doggy eyebrows. Gives them that little that personality of them. Just kind of follow the, the brush strokes that I did. Pencil strokes, I meant to say. A little bit of shadow in here, shadow over here, shadow over here. There. I'm going to go under his chin. Make sure that little chin pops out. Okay. I'm going to go back over with a little bit of uh, brown in the eye because it's a little bit of that brown was a little reddish. There. Don't want to look at Yeah, you don't want to be deviled up. Cool. Now I'm just going to finish up with the um, mixing a little bit of yellow and uh, orange for this surfboard. They can pop out a little bit of orange and yellow. Go right up against them. Go back on top and do some of that that navy blue that's on the surfboard or boogie board. So this is like simple little fun thing to do when you're quarantined inside. Just draw a little picture of your dog on the ocean having a little you know a little ocean getaway we'll all be there soon enough just be patient now be safe stay inside but you know it's good to go out for a walk you know and get some fresh air you don't want to be you don't get stir crazy stuck inside but you know of course keeping your distance and uh i think people are pretty respectful i've noticed everyone's respectful of each other's spaces okay <clears throat> so now I'm going to go into a little bit more here, the little guy. So a little bit more into the into the ocean. Just add some details, some navy maybe. Like do some of those ripples. And there's Harley's little uh, the, the surf and chihuahua. So um, join me this Friday. We're going to be doing um, a live Zoom uh, paint your pet party at fundraiser for Boris and Horton. It's $5 to join the Zoom party. All the donations are going to Boris and Horton staff, an awesome dog cafe here in the city. And if you want me to paint your pet, email me a photograph of your pet uh, to petportraitfun.com and I will draw your paint, uh, pet live for you to watch and join in. And you sip, I paint. It's going to be a virtual sip and paint party. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.